Hello everyone, today we're talking retouching and how we can use tools in Photoshop to quickly clean up portraits without leaving a trace. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and duplicate the background layer. We can do this by hitting Command J or Control J on a PC. And this is just good habit because you'll always then have the original image locked as a background layer. On top of that, we'll make a blank layer and we'll name that cleanup. This is where we'll be doing most of our adjustments. We'll start out by using the spot healing brush tool. Make sure that the mode is set to normal, the type is content aware, and it's very important that we check sample all layers. Now I can zoom into a good working distance by holding command and then plus or minus at the same time. This tool is very easy to use. All that we have to do is paint over the area that we want to heal. And I'm changing the size of my brush while I do this by pressing the open and close bracket keys. If I go over to the layers panel and toggle this layer on and off, you can see how quickly and simply we just took out the blemishes. What I'll do is I'll highlight the cleanup and working layer by holding Control or Command and clicking on both layers. Once they're highlighted, I'll hit Command J to duplicate them. And as long as they're still selected, I'll then hit Command or Control E. And we'll name this Skin Texture. So while this skin texture layer is highlighted, we'll go over to Filter, Other, High Pass. And typically this will be around three to four pixels. All that we're looking for is to capture the actual skin pores and finer details themselves. Once that's done, we change this to Overlay. And then at the bottom of the Layers panel, you'll see a little icon that will help us create a layer mask and hide this effect. So if I hold Alt while clicking on this, it hides everything there. So now we're ready and we'll go ahead and highlight the cleanup layer. We'll head over to our clone stamp tool and we'll change the mode to lighten. The opacity should be around 15% for this. And remember to have sample all layers on. So the technique we'll use here is to sample the lighter skin and then move up and paint over the darker skin. So we do that by sampling here. We hold Alt and click. And then we let go of Alt, move the brush up and paint. Hold Alt, click, move up and then paint. Now this will feel a bit awkward at first, but you'll get the hang of it really quickly. You'll see that the under eye darkness is going away and we're not going too far with it. We do want to keep a little bit of the darkness because that's actually the shape of her face. Now you'll see if I toggle this on and off, there's a pretty dramatic difference. And I can use the same technique throughout the rest of her skin to even out some of the darker spots. Once our tones are even, what we'll do is go ahead and highlight this black box over our skin texture layer and we'll grab our brush. We'll keep our brush to a low hardness, our opacity to around 15 to 20, and then using a pure white brush, we'll go ahead and paint the effect in. And what this is doing is adding a bit of that skin texture back just over the areas that we worked on. And voila, we have our before and after. A really quick natural retouch that doesn't look like it's been too processed. 